In this video, we will see the synthesis of phenylthiourea. Phenylthiourea was synthesized in 1931 by Arthur Fox who discovered that some individuals perceived the taste as bitter while others found it insipid. Phenylthiourea, or also called phenylthiocarbamide PTC, is used in the form of bands which contain micrograms of this substance because it is highly toxic. They are used in the test to determine the perception of taste according to the genetic profile. In theory, 70% of the population is able to detect the bitterness of phenylthiourea certain foods, such as broccoli and cabbage, contain bitter substances similar to phenylthiourea. Those toxins are produced by plants as a defensive strategy. Phenylthiourea synthesis is divided into three steps. Potassium thiocyanate reacts first with benzoyl chloride to create the benzoyl isothiocyanate. It is reacted with aniline diluted in dry acetone and n phenylcarbamoyl benzamide is formed. By hydrolysis with a base, like sodium hydroxide, phenylthiourea and sodium benzoate are formed. The first step to obtain phenylthiourea is to dry acetone with calcium chloride 12 hours before the operation, which must be carried out without humidity. We set up a reflux unit with an additional funnel. This kit is a 100 ml double neck flask with a reflux condenser and an addition funnel, all material we have dried for 12 hours at 100 degrees. The condenser and funnel are protected from humidity by calcium chloride tubes. In the flask, we put 3.3 grams of potassium thiocyanate that we have dried to 60 degrees in an oven. Add 20 milliliters of dry acetone. Stir to dissolve the potassium thiocyanate into the acetone. Put in the addition funnel 5.3 grams of benzoyl chloride. The chloride is added in droplets to the thiocyanate solution by stirring. The addition of benzoyl chloride forms yellow benzoyl isothiocyanate. After addition, reflux 5 minutes to finish the reaction. Continue to heat, place in the funnel a solution of 3.5 grams of aniline in 10 milliliters of dry acetone. We added the aniline solution while keeping the slight reflux. After the addition of all the aniline, the mixture is poured into a glass with 280 milliliters of cool water. Stir the contents and collect the solid by suction. This results in a yellow mass. The yellow solid is dissolved in a solution 6 grams of sodium hydroxide in 55 milliliters of water. Heat up 5 minutes. Filter through heat folded paper to remove insoluble materials. Let cool and add hydrochloric acid to pH 2. If the precipitate hardens, add a small amount of water. Once pH 2 is reached, it is slightly alkalized with 25% ammonia solution.
Cool in the refrigerator for 12 hours and collect the phenylthiorea obtained by suction. Dry in the oven at 60 degrees Celsius. We identify the melting point. The melting point was very slow, between 135 to 165 degrees. The theoretical melting point for phenylthiorea ranges from 145 to 150 degrees. In order to purify phenylthiorea, it is dissolved in 40 milliliters hot ethanol. Hot filter and refrigerate the filtrate for approximately 12 hours until the phenylthiorea crystallizes. Filter by suction and dry in a 60 degrees oven. Determine the melting point for the purified material. This time the melting point was 150 degrees and with a quicker melting. The yield of this synthesis was 68%.